everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I'm here with the Tascam 2X, TM2X. This is a, a little microphone, external microphone, that you can use with your digital SLR and presumably your video camera. Now, before you even take the plunge, you want to make sure that your camera does have an audio input on it, a mic input on it. A lot of cameras don't, so you may want to just uh, double check and make sure uh, that you can support the little eighth inch adapter here, because if you don't have that, uh, you're not going to have much use for this. Uh, basically, it's a two cardioid microphone device here. So uh, the microphone is very directional, so it does allow you to rotate it up and down so you can get the best uh, angle for the sound. It likes to uh, pick up pretty much dead on, so uh, you'll want to be aware of that when you get going. Uh, there are two switches on the side. There's a, a sensitivity switch, and this basically just lowers the volume that it picks up. Uh, so I have it set to high right now, but if you go to low, it'll be a little bit more forgiving, especially if you're in a loud environment. It also has a uh, low cut filter here. So right now it's set to flat, uh, but if you go to low cut, it will uh, prevent, um, you know, kind of buzzes and uh, hums and low, low frequency sound from being picked up on the microphone. But generally, uh, you'll want to leave it uh, there. It also has kind of a shock mount to it as well. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't pick up a lot of the sounds that, you know, getting bumped around might. So it's got some limits to it, but it, uh, you know, from walking around and that sort of thing, uh, it should remain pretty quiet. You won't hear the, the bumps along the way. It also has for your camera a little mounting bracket here to uh, get the microphone far away from the camera lens because uh, these lenses make a lot of noise. I know on my Nikon, uh, when I'm out shooting, just using the internal microphone on the camera, you'll he hear that lens movement quite a bit. And I did find that this does make a difference. It's not a, you know, it's not completely silent. Unless, you know, I'm still hearing this lens making noise, but uh, it is significantly reduced. Um, depending on the lens that you have, uh, you'll have different degrees of uh, satisfaction with that, I suppose. So the big question is, how does the microphone sound? And actually, as you can hear, I turned off my lavalier and we're just using uh, the Tascam right now. It's going through my Nikon. This is an unpowered microphone. It sounds really good. I'm actually uh, really impressed with the quality of audio that's coming out of it. Uh, you'll see though, as I turn up the microphones, move them away from my face here, uh, the, the pickup goes down because it's very directional. These are cardioid microphones, so the pickup pattern is usually right in front of them. So uh, you'll want to be aware of that when you're recording with it. Uh, the same can be said if I point the microphones away from me. Uh, it, it picks up a little bit behind me, but not a lot. So uh, it is a bit directional in how it uh, wants to get its audio. But I've not had good luck with these plug-in microphones before. Uh, the sound quality on this one is really good to me. I mean, this is, uh, this is decent. <laughs> and uh, I, have not, I cannot say the same thing about a lot of other microphones I've tried out over the years. Uh, the, uh, the little shock mount also does a pretty nice job. I'm shaking it right now. I'm not hearing too much uh, you know, jostling there as well. So uh, overall, it's a really nicely designed little microphone. It's rather pricey, so you know, it should probably perform uh, the way we're seeing it here. And I think uh, it'll do uh, well for you. It also comes, by the way, with a little dead cat. That's what they call it in the business, uh, which will muffle sounds out in wind as well. So that is the test cam. This is the, uh, the TM 2X, and I, I think this is a good microphone, and I recommend it if you have a DSLR and you want to improve the quality of your sound. And this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.